How did you become so powerful? Now answer me this. What happened between you and the human, Mila Kresnik? Did it have anything to do with the creation of the schism? Where'd you hear that name? It's become ingrained in Nia Kara folklore. But the story's details have been lost to time. Ah, interesting. I see now. You must be one of her descendants. That would explain the wealth of your power. I want you to tell us everything. Did you name me after her? After Mila Kresnik? And why would you want to know the answer? That's irrelevant to the mission I assigned you. Is it wrong to ask? I want to know about myself. I want to know what went through your mind before I was given birth. You want to know. Perhaps naming you after her led to that as well. So Mila's name was derived from Mila Kresnik. Is that a safe assumption? That woman pestered me incessantly with her constant questions. Why this? How that? She wanted to know it all. The voraciousness of human curiosity seems to have no boundaries or limitations. I must say it never ceases to amaze me. In many ways, it could be defined as one of humanity's most intriguing traits. Humans never halt their quest for knowledge, even if it means risking their own destruction. They're always looking to see what's ahead. The strength of their curiosity is stunning. When Spyrix began to drive spirits and humans apart, Mila stood against it. In striving to understand spirit kind, she represented more than just human beings. She was hope. Hope. She devoted all of her energy to the benefit of spirits and humanity alike. Truly a magnificent sight. It was a slow process, but one that showed promise. In time, humans who wished to coexist with spirits flocked to her side. Thus began the Kresnik clan. And yet, I understand that Kronos didn't think much of her. Kronos did not think much of any humans. At the end of the day, he found them inadequate beings who needed to prove their worth. I get it now. So that's the reason for the Origins trial. So what happened to Mila Kresnik? Did you have a falling out with Kronos? Oh man, I want to know the answer to both of these questions. I'm more interested about Mila Kresnik than I am about Kronos and Maxwell. So, Mila Kresnik, I gotta know. She was driven to her death by the humans who were members of her own clan. You couldn't save her from her demise? No, I never saw it coming. Unbeknownst to me, the Kresnik clan had become poisoned by a faction seeking to exploit spirits for profit. Mila would naturally not allow that. Therefore, they conspired to kill her. I concluded that the schism was the only solution. I would divide the world and bring over select humans on the Ark. But unlike what I expected, Mila refused my invitation. Instead of coming aboard the Ark, she chose to stand with the humans who had turned against her. And you saw her actions to stay behind as betrayal. Of course. Mila had thrown in with those who would rather pursue their own selfish desires. What else was I supposed to believe? That was a rude but much needed awakening for me. When presented with great power, humans cannot control themselves. And you spoke with Mila about her intentions? There was no need. Or were you perhaps afraid to ask and hear her answer? Afraid to find out her motivations, her intentions, and what she truly meant to you? Mm. The power of the four! Get away from Lord Maxwell! Now, you filthy vermin! Muse commands the four here? <laughs> Aren't they nice? I salvaged them from the remains of their former master. So Muse killed the Mila of this world. She's the catalyst. I'll kill anyone who dares defy Lord Maxwell. If they come back, I'll just kill them again. Because that is my sole mission. Incoming. So we're going to fight Muse and the four great spirits at once. Sweet. Oh, no, we're just fighting Muse. Well, that's a bit of a letdown. But whatever. She's controlling the four? So, you're still trapped in the past. Allow me to free you. 
Ow! Okay, so she technically is fighting us with the power of the four. Noted. Ow. Ow again. Okay, wait. Incineration wave time. Totally missed my incineration wave. <laughs> incineration wave time again! Go! Get him! Grand Beast! And now it's time. Wait. First, let me try and use the Blade of Heaven and see if I can get uh, some power hits. Yes, power hits. No, I got like none. Why? Oh, there we go. Yes. All right, now I go into them. Oh, no, they're gone. No, why? Whatever. Just go. Let me see if I can get a dual waltz off before I use my uh, Mystic Art on you. Give me the dual waltz. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, no. Jump away. Jump away. Jump away. No, 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 no. Oh, I got it. Thank goodness. Whew. Just in time. Almost missed my Mystic Art. That would have been a bummer. Form Destroyer! Nice, she's at about half. Sweet, all right. Let's continue with Destruction. Also, I just realized I don't have a Lee's, so this is going to be fun. All right, here we go. Time for an Incineration Wave! Blade of Heaven! What is my, uh, don't I have Obliteration Cross? Obliteration cross! Ow, stop that. You say you and guys are like best friends. You need to stop attacking him right now. <laughs> Wait, so this Muse still has the space time sword in her chest. Let me pull it out right now. Can I just pull it out of her chest right now? That would be great. I would love to just rip out my space time sword right now and annihilate you and Maxwell with it. I'm down. Yep, there it is. So get me with the uh, life bottle. Let me back up. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Time to burn! Die. Just die. Ow, pain. Pain hurts. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Wait, check this out. I got a new thing on guys. I don't have it set up, though. I'm going to set it up instead of a... Uh, I don't... Dang it. I'm too used to having all these moves. Get rid of Obliteration Cross for it. So right up for my spirit channel. Now I can revive everyone from death! It, she stopped me from reviving everyone from death. Why? Oh, great. Now he's dead. Let me link with Mila here. Mila, we need to do something. We're in trouble right now. I need to come over here, and I need to revive my friends with Spirit Channel. Great. She froze time. That's cool. I'm glad she can do that. Hey, wait a minute. This is going bad. Okay, Muse, can you come over here? Come on over here. Yep, yep, yep. Now attack. Good, good, good. Stay over there. Crap, I don't have enough. <laughs> I need a pineapple gel. I really want to do this. I'm hoping I'll just get them all up at once. I think that's how Spirit Channel will work. I haven't tried it yet. All right, so you attack. Good, 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 good. Spirit Channel, get up, get up, get up, get up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No, the stupid, I was doing it. I was doing it. I was so close. I just want to get everyone up with my Spirit Channel. No, stop, stop right now. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> all right, so gonna have to try this again. Here we go. Ow! She actually got me. Leave me alone. Da! Yeah. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up! Dang it! It takes too long to cast. Wait a minute, let me try this. Let me get a... What am I doing? Life bottle, get Mila up. Would you stop? What? Okay, get Mila up. Now Mila, Mila, come over here with me. Come over here with me, Mila. Come on over here. All right, all right. I'm gonna unlink with you. You're gonna deal with Muse. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna get everyone up with Spirit Channels. No, stop that right now. Don't do that. Mila, don't come over here. You're leading her to me. There we go. I got Jude up, and Jude's about to go right back down because he doesn't have the HP Surge, too, unfortunately. There we go. Link with Jude. Here we go. It's time for an incineration wave. Die, Muse. Die. Guys, help me destroy Muse, please. I'm trying to kill Muse. I really need some help here. Burn. How much help do you have? You're, like, basically dead. Just die. Oh, here we go, here we go, incineration wave! Incineration wave right now, yes, yes! My mission. We're so sorry. May the four great spirits in this dimension watch over you. Yeah, we're about to destroy this dimension, so it doesn't really matter. I've grown- Now I have this- You even bested Muse. Mila. You have seen enough now to grasp the hubris and cruelty that humanity is capable of possessing. And yet you still side with them? It is a duty that I, as Mila Maxwell, must fulfill. Interesting. You have defined your own duty, have you? I have. 
And in this mission, I am not alone. So you too have chosen to part ways with me. Maxwell? Go and live wherever you wish. It's no longer my decision. This is no cause for sadness, Maxwell. Even when separated, the bonds that tie us together cannot be so easily broken. This melody... Yes, no matter what happened, your heart was always so... Hey, Rollo's here too, by the way. Oh, it's good to see old man Maxwell again. He's still a bit of a douche, but whatever. Mila, why did you hum that tune? It just popped into my head, like a feeling I couldn't put into words. I can only hope Maxwell understood what I meant by it. Thank you, Luger. Because of you, I understand my predecessor's side of the story now. Although, I didn't learn the whole truth about Mila Kresnik. She couldn't stand the thought of abandoning those left in Olympias to die. That's why Mila Kresnik wouldn't go with Maxwell to Riza Maxia. How so? Because the world Mila Kresnik dreamed of long ago is the same one we wish to create now. She couldn't flee to a world that offered salvation for only a select few. But in reality, I'm sure Mila Kresnik wanted to ultimately be with Maxwell, too. So they could make their perfect world together. And Jude knows all this because he's speaking from experience. Only now it's Mila as Lord of Spirits. It's still the same in terms of title. Lord of Spirits and human who wants to save the world. I couldn't help but point that out. I'm sorry for pausing cutscenes again. Back to the cutscene! Jude. We've learned that our dream isn't a new one. People and spirits have been seeking it for ages. We have to make it come true. You're right. For Mila Kresnik's sake as well as our own. It's the lab. I better take this. You might not know it. But you're already walking ahead of me, Jude. Do you feel like you've been left behind? But you walked the same road. Yeah, you walked the same road! That much is certainly true. But I know that I won't be around to see everything Jude will accomplish. I realize that's just the way it is. But I don't have to like it. Sorry. You okay? Yes. Is everything okay at work? Yeah, it should be fine. I guess it's up to us to carry the torch passed by Maxwell and Mila Kresnik. Hmm. We will put an end to Origin's trial once and for all. Why did Mila have to go and say what she said about not being there? Jeez, this game and making me feel. Why has it got to be like that? I don't mind games making me feel, but there better be some sort of a happy ending here. Luger, I hate it when I don't get happy my endings. Maxwell dumplings go up for sale, you can use the proceeds to pay down your debt. Who's going to make them, you ask? Why, you are, of course. Well, then, of course I'm going to be getting proceedings from it to help pay my debt. What are my cats up to? Meow. Cat stack. Nice. We're done with Neocara. Man, I am just blowing through these. How many more towns do we have? One, two, three... Uh, four. Only four towns. Wow. I got all of the dungeons, and then fields we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There are a lot of fields, and I've barely done any of them. So, fourteen plus four, that's eighteen, and then Kanan is going to go into one of these three categories, which will make nineteen. So, I have to finish the cats running around in nineteen more spots. That's not too bad. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and save and call it a day. When we come back, we probably won't be in Hamil. We'll probably be back in Neakara because that's my go-to place. I'm also going to figure out what's up with the uh, Balin quest. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. I don't know what the deal is, but I'll figure out what's up with that. And we'll hopefully be able to fix it and finish that Balin quest next time. We'll do that first. Then we're going to start Chapter 16. And I'll probably have all of the cats done by then.
Yeah, probably. I also need to send them somewhere else right now. Go on to Triglyph and get the last thing at Triglyph. I'll probably have all of the other places have golden paw prints. That way, all we'll need to do is make sure we get the two cats at Canaan. And then once we have the two cats at Canaan, we'll just need to, uh... What is it? We'll need to send them into Canaan. What is... Uh... 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 Uh, is this my space time sword? Is this guy's his space time sword? What? Uh... Uh, there's a magical sword over here, like, in the middle of Hamil for no apparent reason. What? Okay, so maybe we won't... Is this a post-game thing? What? Okay, so maybe we won't be, uh, starting Chapter 16 next time. Next time, we're gonna do the Balin plea, or whatever it is. And after we finish that, we're gonna check out what's up with this magical space-time sword that I just noticed. That's nice and random. But we'll check out the magical space-time sword next time. Along with the Balin plea, and then depending on what happens with the magical space sword, we might have to do stuff with it, or we might go ahead and start chapter 16, the final chapter. We'll just have to wait and see, because... I mean, I don't know what's up with that mystical space time sword over there, but I'm really hoping that Gaius gets it in as, a, as an equip after we finish whatever has to do with it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. We're nearing the end. I'm so excited. It's, you know, another bittersweet moment. This game has definitely had its flaws, especially because I compared it to Zillia, which was amazing. Games always, good games always seem worse when you compare them to really great games, which unfortunately is the case for Zillia and Zillia 2. But this game is still good. I've still enjoyed it. I can't wait to finish it. I'm going to hate it when I finish it because then, you know, bittersweet moment, but I really want to know what happens. So hopefully we'll be wrapping up this game soon. And then I can start another Tales game. I'll either go back to Zillia and do Mila's side, or I'll start Grace's. Or Dawn of the New World. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Farewell.